We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hello, this is Brett from Onyx. In this video, I'll show you how to unbox and set up your HP Color LaserJet Pro MFP M283 FTW or CDW printer. The first step is to open the box and remove the printer from the box. All right, now I've taken the printer out of the box and I've set in all the brochures and cables off to the side over here. So we're gonna go ahead and take the rest of this covering off. Next, you'll need to connect the power cord and turn on the printer. All right, you're gonna wanna wait for your printer to finish initializing. Now that ours is quieted down, I'll show you how to go through the setup for that, and I'll show you how to set it up with HP Smart. First, you select your preferred language. Mine's gonna be English. Yes. Then you're gonna have to choose a location. For us, it'll be the USA. So you can either select self-managed if you're going to be using it yourself, IT managed if you're going to have an IT company that's using it for you, or if you're not sure, you can go ahead and do print information sheet. But for us personally, we're going to do self-managed. Confirm that. All right, now we wait for it. All right, once you've loaded in the paper, it's going to mention the size for the tray. You can just go ahead and press OK. Ours has gone ahead and cleared itself for us, and we'll move on from there. All right, now that those steps have been finished, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up your printer to the network and to connect it to HP Smart. All right, to connect it to your network, you wanna go over here to this symbol and click it. Go ahead and click on network. Go ahead and click on settings. And then go down and touch turn wireless on slash off. Go ahead and do on. And it'll begin to scan. All right. Now you should be able to just press the home button and go back. All right, now that that's been done, you'll see a little error icon next to it because it hasn't actually connected to the network yet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on that symbol again, network again, go to settings again, and you want to go ahead and click on wireless setup wizard. Give it time to do its thing. All right, now that you're in here, you'll see a list of networks. If yours isn't in here because it's private, you can go ahead and go to enter SSID. All right, we're going to go ahead and put in ours. All right, after you've put in your SSID and pressed OK, it should bring up the option to put in your password. We're gonna go ahead and put in ours. All right, once you've put in the SSID and your password, if it's successfully connected, you'll see this saying connection established. You can go ahead and press OK. And then if you go back home, you can see up here there is no more error icon next to the network signal showing that you've gotten everything connected. All right, now that you've gotten your printer itself connected to the network, I'll go ahead and show you how to get the HP Smart App set up. First, you want to go to your mobile device and download the HP Smart App itself, and then go ahead, tap on it, and open it up. It'll go ahead and it'll give you a notification. You just want to go ahead and click Accept All. Allow permission for advertising tracking. Yes, just go ahead and press Continue. It's gonna ask you whether or not it is allowed to track or not allowed to track your information. You can say no, we're actually going to ask it not to. Give it time to load. You wanna go ahead and when this screen pops up, click on set up a new printer. It's gonna ask that it can connect to devices on the local network. You're gonna go ahead and press allow. Now that the HP has actually been connected to the network, it's not technically considered a new printer. So you're going to go down to the bottom and click on complete now when it says finish setup or add a printer that's already set up. And then you want to go ahead and select the printer that you want. All right, now that you've downloaded and set up the HP Smart App on your mobile device, you can actually go ahead and start printing from your phone itself. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up Wi-Fi Direct. So you're going to go back to the settings menu and click on Wi-Fi Direct itself. So Wi-Fi Direct is for whenever you're using a device that's not actually on your local network and you still want to use the printer. You're going to want to go in and put in this for the Wi-Fi and this for the password. 
So we want to go in and click settings, on off, and set it to on. Now, whenever you put in that Wi-Fi password and name, it'll go ahead and connect that device to the printer. The next thing we're going to show you how to set up is ePrint. That way you can use emails and print through your printer that way. So we want to go back up here, go ahead and click on HP ePrint. It's going to connect. It says off. You can go ahead and select settings. And down here you see turn ePrint on slash off. We're going to click on that, press on, and now you should be good to go. All right, that's it. You've taken your printer, unpackaged it, set it up, gone in, and we've set up Wi-Fi Direct, Network, ePrint, and HP Smart. Thank you for watching this unboxing video, and have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.